Hello, I'm Kevin Coffey. And I'm Zach Gorley. And you're watching Home Repair on Channel 2. Last week, we showed you how to build and stain a beautiful set of kitchen cabinets. Today, we'll be dealing with something less glamorous, but just as necessary. And I think we all know what that is, Coffey. We sure do, Zach. Cock! Cock, sticky cock, everywhere, in your mouth, in your hair, cock is in organ! Well, Zach, I'm just dying to discover cock. But where do we begin? First of all, there are many different types of cock. There are? Of course. And though they may look the same, they all do very different things. How so? Well, there's different colors of cock. There's white cock, and then there's the immortal classic, black cock. Black cock? That's right, coffee. See, black cock is best used for black cracks, and it can do some jobs that white cock just can't have. That makes sense. So now we're ready to go, right? Whoa, hold your horses there. There are some cracks that cock just can't handle. Even black cock? Even black cock coffee. Which is why you need aerosol foam. How does it work? Oh, it's very easy. All you do is stick it up in the crack, spray it in there, and it expands and hardens. That's great. Well, are we all set to start? I think we are. Well, let's get cocking. Now that you have the right type of cock, it's time to get started cocking. Not so fast, Zach. Whenever you're handling cock, you need to wear protection to prevent the transmission of diseases. Rubber gloves are perfect because they protect you from the cock, but still provide sensitivity. Well, why should I be worried? I'm glad you asked that, Zach. If you don't wear gloves, cock can get all over your hands and in your pores and openings. And the last thing you want is undesirable cock in your openings. How the hell do you use this thing? It's simple, Zach. Just pull the rubber down tightly over your hand. It should be nice and snug, but still loose enough to provide comfort and breathing. Oh, I get it now. Oh man, what a mess! <laughs> That's right, Coffee. It appears your cock has caused quite the mess in this bedroom. Naughty, naughty. It's all over the place. And the worst part is, it is so hard to clean up. Now everyone will know you've been using your cock in here. Well, I guess I'm going to have to be more careful the next time I'm swinging my cock around. God damn it, this cock won't go in. Nonsense, Zach. If you're having trouble inserting your cock, you just need to try lubrication. Hey, that makes it easy. Zach, quick, what's the number for poison control? Why? I got cock in my mouth. <laughs> oh, Coffee. How did you ever heard you're not supposed to put cock in your mouth? It's a medical hazard. Well, well, what do I do now? Well, you should be fine for now. But next time, remember to always exercise caution when you're dealing with cock. Say, Zach, we got a letter. Really? What does it say? A young man from Ohio is writing. He never really valued his cock, but ever since he saw our show, he's really appreciated its value. Oh, yes. I've seen this many times. As a young man, you may not truly appreciate your cock, but as you grow older, it becomes a value part of your everyday life. In fact, cock is just so versatile. You can use it basically anywhere. Indoors, outdoors, in a car, the bathroom, the bedroom, the kitchen, the dining room table. Cock's uses are almost unlimited. Indeed. It can be applied in almost any weather condition as well. However, it's best on a warm, dry day. Nothing's better than hot cock. Of course, you may have a lot of cock that you need to spread around very quickly. And you may not be able to handle this by yourself. That's why you should have a friend or two come over to help share in the cocking experience. Why Coffee and I spent many an hour enjoying our cock to our full potential. And a fine day it made. Yes. Well, that's all the time we have here on Home Repair. Next week, we'll be joined by the National Park Service, who will tell us how to keep beavers out of your yard, because we all know what happens when beaver meets wood. Happy cocking, everybody! If you're ever feeling blue, if you're wearing a big old crown, well, 
I gotta tell you about a friend of mine, cause Cockle never gets shut down.